Chapter 15. We're almost done. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, we almost. Yeah, we almost get into uh, dawn. Ten years ago, a man named Sissel took a little girl named Lynn hostage, and then was killed by a meteorite fragment. And then a decade later, Sissel was killed again by Lynn. Tonight, a man named Sissel met a detective named Lynn at a junkyard on the edge of town, and was killed by a bullet. But the scene I found fire uh, the scene I find waiting for me on the other end of the phone line feels like the final nail in the coffin of my lost story. I lost memory. What? What? <laughs> I see. Myself. The fuck? Oh, was Cabanilla held at gunpoint? Maybe? By me? I have a feeling. What the fuck is happening? I have a feeling. Sissel, or at least someone, is able to manipulate a dead body and use it. God damn it. That still doesn't explain us. Oh, yeah. There you are, Commander Sif. Finally. Cecil, where have you been, my good man? We've been looking everywhere for you. Oh, so we do. Cecil does work for them. Oh my god, there's so much here to unpack. I'm so fucking confused. <laughs> Had a little unfinished business to take care of. Didn't think it would take this long. What about your people? They sure went out of their way to mess me up. I say, I believe you fulfilled every one of your conditions in our little deal. What right do you have to complain about anything outside our bargain? We can talk about that when we get together. This will be our last communication by telephone. We'll arrive in one hour. I look forward to seeing you, Sissel. Phone is approaching. The darkness surrounding my own mystery is deep. I know it's always darkest before dawn. Hmm, yes, we need the final stage of our little deal, my good man. Yes, sir. All preparations are complete, sir. It's so good to be back with these guys. It's oh, been so yeah, long this since we them. <laughs> music, these people. Yeah. Oh, it's been so long. It's so refined. <laughs> uh, I'm getting more confused by the second. And we just had a report, sir. Lights have been spotted, sir. Have they now? By all means, let me have a look. Hmm, yes, we're very close. Where the hell are we? Wait a second, is this thing mobile? Are we in a submarine? <laughs> He might be! Yes, we are. We will now disconnect oh from the communication cable and have no service until we arrive, sir. Very well. Oh my god, it's a high-class submarine. <laughs> With grapes. <laughs> Unending grapes. My God! Wow! Oh, I'm not gonna lie, that is pretty cool. <laughs> nice try, Inspector Cabanella. But you could never stop me. See ya, sucker. Man, this is a jerk. So, that submarine guy and his people have a deal going on with me, do they? If that's the case, they probably aren't the ones who killed me, right? Yeah, I, I don't think these blue people have anything to do with killing Sissel, no. I don't know what's going on anymore. But this is really getting fascinating. I'm confused. Are we, like just a, are we just like a part of Sissel? Or is Sissel literally immortal? But that wouldn't explain the ghost part, then. Yeah. 
It all comes down to this meteorite, I think, that hits this originally. I'm gonna blame Ray. I have a feeling perhaps Ray was also a part of this, potentially. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, there's definitely something behind the inspector's death. I think I better talk to him. Of course. Hello, Cabanilla! Alright, he's unconscious. Hey, do you think you could wake up for me? Oh boy, still unconscious, eh? I guess he hasn't been dead for very long, then. I'll just go ahead and go back to four minutes before his death. I'm a little nervous about what I might see there, though. But that's where I'm gonna find my answers, so I can't run away from it. Yeah, I suppose it's rewind time. I'm getting more confused by the second. This is what happens when you have time travel. But now I am pretty confident that Cabanilla is not a bad guy. Once the criminal gets the punishment he deserves, the hostage will go free. Carry out the execution immediately and wait for our call. Yeah, look at that. That's a good boy. Gee, a hostage sure is a handy thing. He gives me complete control over the top police inspector in the country. What's the matter? All those broken bones smart a bit? Oh, he beat him up. Ah, poor Cabanella. Yeah, so Cabanella's in, Cabanella's in great pain. What's it like to feel pain? Does it make you feel alive? What, why are you doing this? Now, is that any kind of question for a top inspector to ask? Isn't it obvious? Revenge, of course. Revenge that all the people stole my life away ten years ago. Don't be ridiculous! It was a meteorite that stole your life! Why have you forgotten that? Wrong! I was murdered by all of you! Uh... Wow. Take the geode who chased me down and forced me into a corner even though I was innocent. Lin, that girl who was right there where I, uh, where I was running. Lin, she was just an innocent little girl playing at the park. <clears throat> if that brat hadn't been there, I would I would never have thought of taking a hostage. And that's the most self-centered garbage I've ever heard. And finally, you, Inspector Capanella, me. If you hadn't done what you did, I never would have pointed a gun at that kid. You were so proud of your spotless record. My case was the one blood on it, wasn't it? Only two people know the real truth. Me and Detective Jode. I bet tonight's execution will be quite a relief to you, won't it? One of the people who know about the stain on your record will disappear for good. That's why you didn't help him escape from prison. That's the kind of guy you are! I got nothing to say to you. You'd never listen anyway. <laughs> oh shit, but he can't die. He got Now then, Inspector. A ghost is literally using Sizzle's body. Oh my god. What? Hey, you saw, <laughs> you saw how natural that looked. Years ago. I'm so confused. Yeah. But you literally saw how unnatural that looked when you got back up. Oh yeah, there's no doubt that he's not feeling pain or anything. He's not alive. Yeah. Time to make a big red stain on your spotless white coat. This was another condition of my deal. To why about everybody who knew about Tensec? We controlled the lamp too. What the fuck? I think it is Ray. I think that I think it's Ray. What is happening? Revenge? That's what I'm up to? None of this makes any sense! Hey man! 
Mind telling me what's going on? <laughs> Inspector Cabanella. He's awake. My head's spinning, baby. Now, am I to understand uh, that Cabanella character who just got shot is uh, me? Uh, that's right. And you're supposed to be the scoundrel there who just shot me? Uh, I, I, I guess so. Uh, but you couldn't be, could you? Huh? After all, the guy in the red suit just walked out the door, right? So, who are you? I guess <laughs> I just doesn't face it. <laughs> I'm not that Sissel guy. We're someone else. But who are we then? Oh my god, this is getting more confusing by the dark episode. Uh, I'm somebody who's searching for, my, for himself. That's why I'm here to save you. At the very least, you have information about that guy in red. Information I need. So you came in a rescue mission now, did you? Nothing like the sound of that, baby. Because there's a very important life here somewhere. A life valuable to this nation. Okay, do your thing, baby. Man, Cabanella's onto this quick. What the <laughs> fuck is happening? Okay, so what the fuck do we do? Look at him. There's that something emanating from his body. Is it really a sign of having special powers of the dead? Yeah, there's something very wrong here. But what do we do? Oh, turning on won't matter. We can't do anything here. What do we do? So, uh, you're a manipulator too? I have ghost tricks, powers of the dead, yeah, but I can't control living creatures. Anywho, I think you better be very careful. That guy in red is a manip manipulator. Naturally, he knows about powers like yours. If you realize that you're here, things might get a little sticky. You're right, I better be careful. Oh shit, yeah, you're right, this guy might actually adjust based on what we do. Uh -huh. I assume this is just him saying the thing as a good boy. So... Just stay like this for now, because once that's knocked over, you can go below Sissel. That's true. Yeah, we can go down here. Oh, we can move the thing. Wait, what the? Look at this place. It got fra it got trashed. Yeah. What in the world happened here? I think I'm starting to remember. Something bad happened here, and now there's another death lying. There's another death lying hidden here. What? Another death? Didn't I tell you from the start? Didn't I say there was a very important life valuable to the nation here? What you were talking about, you? <laughs> I'm just a crazy character in a white coat, baby. I like Cabanilla. Oh! Sciencey dude. Yeah. The guy who takes care of the scrapyard. Here to come, hey, come to think of it. Where is that old pitching guy? Oh, we have to get to him. Because I imagine... Nothing we do with Sissel is gonna change anything at the moment. No, I have a feeling he's just gonna not. be able to find he's gonna be able to find a way to get around it. I have a feeling he's just gonna be able to do that. Yeah, there he is. I need to find a way to get it out. Oh wait, I can do this. Ha! Um, excuse me? Are you awake? Yeah, of course! I never sleep doing work hours! Uh, professor! Do you recognize me? There's only one crazy character in the white coat that I know of. He has lost his memory. I'm not the type who likes losing things. But never mind that. Cabanella, this is quite a surprising guest you brought with you. Pretending like he didn't just blow up the place. Uh, are you talking about me? 
Oh, this is a different guy. And I'm in scarce, actually. It said he'd come to rescue us. Unlike you, my sharp friend, he still hasn't gotten his memory back. <laughs> Pitiful. Ouch. Yeah, that hurts. Do we even have a memory to cute. get back? You, you might not have. I get it. Perhaps every time Sissel dies, it makes a new ghost. That's kind of a scary thought. Yeah. Anyway, now we'll be going back to four minutes before your death. In order to change your fate at us. But aren't we already in the past, man? Yeah, but we can go back even further. I've done it before. I still don't see a path to saving Inspector Cabanella. But if we go back further, maybe I'll find a lead. I mean, we really didn't try anything with Cabanella. <laughs> be yeah, because I'm, I'm afraid... I just think Sissel can find a way to turn it around. Like... Oh shit, okay. How many times do I have to tell you, Professor? This place is dangerous. Don't be daft, I can't leave now. Oh, he's using an EM detector. He's just, he's completely dead, but just as I thought, I'm getting a reading. This is the source of his powers. If I remove it, He's not dead! He's just not he not there! The true form of the manipulator isn't something you can detect! It's a spirit! <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> or is this Ray? I'm not sure. I guess I'm assuming I'll, I'll this is Sissel. Uh, <laughs> so you figured it all out, huh? You're a clever man, Inspector Cabanella. So, so, it's true! You are... I waste a lot of time to that because of you, Inspector. But it's all just like you said. I died ten years ago. This body's just a vessel. Shell. You've kept that shell pretty in a pretty damn fine shape, I must say. Must be a part of his ghost powers. Yeah, but that it doesn't rot, I suppose, yeah. Or that he can because, restore it uh, after damage. That would also make sense, because all the bullet holes will probably start to stack up. <laughs> probably. I control everything. This shell, people. Just like I control the Justice Minister and Lin. So it's true. You were manipulating my baby the whole that time? You made her shoot your shell. But why? Why would you do a thing like that? It's a great conclusive evidence, you know, on that security tape. Now she's a murderer, too. She'll suffer just like Joe did. Now then, Professor. I'm afraid it's time for you to die. I don't have any gr I don't have any grudge against you. I'm, I'm even grateful to you. Oh yeah? So why don't you let me live then? I'll be leaving this country forever tonight. But before I do. I need to erase all evidence that these powers of mine exist. Along with their contraption in this room. This time the thing will work the way it was meant to, and it'll be all over. QB won't turn this time. If you just a little arrow this way. Look out! What the hell of an explosion? There was a stick of dynamite next to the party poppers. No, I must have missed that. Dynamite, eh? When the devil did he put that there? We planned it all out tonight. Having my baby shoot him, having his corpse disappear. His corpse disappeared? A medical examiner, remember him? He was a complete and utter imposter. Oh, because of the blue skin! Ah. I guess these blue skin people are from another country. That's the implication we're getting here. They're all evil! <laughs> he said he was going to take the corpse back to the lab. 
but he'd already made a deal with the manipulator to beat him and give him the body back. I wasn't going to let that happen, baby. You saw through that plan, eh? I noticed right away the medical examiner. Didn't know the first thing about examining a body. I knew he was a fake, so I tracked him down and bought him up. I bought him off. Bought him off? I had him smuggle the corpse to this room. I thought we could find the source of his powers. Of course, never in my wildest dreams did I think his abilities were powers of the dead. Anyway, there isn't much time. He's leaving the country before dawn. And I'm gonna follow him, of course, after I save you two. But something's been nagging at the back of my mind. Remember, I remember what Ray said to me tonight. He said that the spirit ceases to exist when the day breaks. But if that's true, how could a spirit from 10 years ago still be here? I, I, I think it's because of the shell. Yeah. I think if you're in a organic vessel, you can survive the day. No time for playing now, baby. Action is in the name of action is the name of the game. Work your magic and take us back even further into the past. So we have to stop Cupid from turning. No, Cupid somehow. doesn't turn. Ah. All right, man. Jump in there and stop that explosion, will you? Easy enough for you to say. Foolish of you to say too. If you stop the explosion, he'll just do do me in some other way. Fair enough. The jump in there and take care of that man in red, will you? I repeat, easy enough for you to say. And most likely impossible to boot. That huge explosion didn't even make him bat an eye. But what do you suppose then, Prof? Pray tell. Your best bet is to save me doing the explosion without him noticing. Oh. The shaft. Yeah. Easy enough for you to say. Jeez, what's with all these people? Anywho, jump in there and do something. All right, so... We can open that. We have an EM thing. So we just have to time it right. Possibly. What the hell is this thing? It's a measuring device, okay. And I'm wondering what this thing is. What in the world is this thing? This device has the meteorite, meteorite data inside insert. If it detects tempsic radiation, it responds. Got that, kid? Was it a lovely thing? Because sometimes it's important to think about not to think about things too much. <laughs> what a sorry pair. So it is the meteorite that's behind everything, basically. Pretty hmm. much. Yeah, it discovers that there's stuff there. We just wait. Sizzle wakes up. We can just skip through these. Yeah. And we just have to time this somehow. We could we could technically like just drop Tim down there. <laughs> we could actually. I don't think he's gonna do anything, but it'd be kinda of funny. So I have to time this just as the flash happens, I think. Oh yeah. As you perhaps have already noticed, time is running up, baby. Yeah, I know perhaps about it, I know. But you know, there aren't a whole lot of things I can use my ghost tricks on in here. It looks like it's all over. Unless I find another path, I'm sort of at a deadlock here. Is this Ray? It might be. What was his voice? I loved it. Was, it. Like, you lean back and we're somewhat relaxed. Thistle. Hey, I know that voice. Help me. No. If I'm doing that! <laughs> wait, wait, where are you? Find me. Before I'm carried away. Um? What's with the frail sounding call for help? He's here somewhere! A uh, friend of yours. Yep, a little guy that looks a little fragile, but has strength that's- Oh! It... Wait, was that Is Missile? It... it might be Missile! Damn it! I think Quickly, but has... tell us who it was! 
<laughs> yeah, that, that straight up surprised you. Well, he's asking you to find him. And before he's carried away, no less. Holy. And I'm almost out of time. Should I look for him? Yeah, I leave. Bethel! Wait, hold on. Let me get up. <laughs> Bethel, here I am! Oh, hey, it's, uh... <laughs> what are you doing here, doing that? Did you really have to ask? So, are you really going there? Uh, no, that's okay. Never mind. Anyway, I need your powers. Will you help me out? Now maybe things will flow in a new direction. Even though the flow of the sewers is a little bit stinky. What a fate change! Okay, so we need to do something. What the hell can I even use missile for here? The measuring device? What can Missile even do? Like, where can he reach? Uh, he can reach further. There needs to be things that they can swap. And they have to be the same type of object. Yeah. But I'm not seeing anything he can actually swap. Ball. There's a ball there. But can you even reach anything? Nope. Oh, I can talk with them. Uh, no. How do I do this? Those squeaky guys are making a fuss about something. Bethel! No. My animal instincts are starting to surface! If you mean that you want to chase them, I think you have to be alive to do that. Hmm. There must be some kind of rat feast in the trash can. Those things usually make a bigger commotion than that. A bigger commotion, eh? Okay, let's stop that explosion! Uh, no, we can't do that. Okay, let's take care of the man in red then. Uh, no, we can't do that. We can't do this! We can't do that! What can we do? We let the explosion happen. And we rescued the old pigeon guy without the man in red noticing. And your powers are the key to all that, Mr. Are they? Oh! I don't know about that, but I'll do my best! What the hell are we swapping? We're talking about a matter of seconds. We can miss our chance. What am I supposed to do? What the hell? That's a lot of rats. Now that's what I call some proper commotion. They're making that trash can dance. Group it's old. I feel a bit like dancing my now myself. Don't you feel like dancing? It's getting harder and harder to hold my wild instincts back. What a dangerous bunch. Okay. Oh. oh. I'll be oh. able to swap with the tire. I don't swap any more. But then I missed my chance, I think. I mean, switch to Sissel. And then just drop the good doctor down. Oh, wait. My, my bets. There we go. Now. So no use. I can't open it. Oh. Could be a fact that Professor's standing on it. Anything to do with it? I may be small, but I'm pretty heavy set. He sounds so proud of that fact, too. This door. Such a pity! Too bad it doesn't open downward. Sometimes some stuff can be real hard, wouldn't you agree, Professor? Yeah, that's why we're both dead! Hmm, I don't want to open downward, eh? It's because it's not heavy enough. 
But we need to draw that so open downward. Yeah, so if you go off the fate change, we need to get that uh, ball thing over there. The trash lid? Yeah. But first of all, we do this. Which gets all the rats to start their thing. Look at all them rats. Way too many rats. Come on, get the lid off. Why not? There we go. But the thing is, I need to get that ball down here. Can Sissel do anything with the ball? We can't even get over I there. Need to... Yeah, and I can't even, can't even get over there. Wait a second. No, that wouldn't work. Would it? Oh, that's just talking. Uh, uh. Oh. Oh shit. Oh my god, you can swap them? Which means he'll fall down. But we need to time it. Basically now? Okay, it's not allowing me to do... Okay, yeah, so I have to do it a little sooner than that. that. Okay. Probably once it hits zero. It might just be designed in a way to do make it a cutscene as soon as you actually drop it. Okay, so I have to save you without the enemy noticing. And the moment of truth is just as explosion occurs. We can do it, Thistle! I know we can! Keaton says he has that little darky's power. Guess I better rewind to the clock again. So we know what to try. I, as soon as it hits zero, just switch the trash can lid and the other thing. But we also need to stop him from noticing. Well, as I said, it may just be a cutscene type of thing. Once you drop him, it may just switch it. True. Because when it hit zero, there was still like 10 seconds before anything happened. Yeah. Okay, so the rats are going to start their ratting. I wish I could skip through these, but we can't. Lots of commotion from the rats. Get on the lids, and we just wait. I like that the, the female rats are pink, that's cute. <laughs> I mean, how else could you tell the difference? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> the swap. Then the lid falls down, and then you swap the other two when the thing hits zero. When it hits zero, not yet. I don't no. think it's hit zero, has it? Nope. There we go. Look out! I was right. It is essentially yeah, a cutscene. Right. Sorry, little pigeon. As for you, Inspector. <laughs> I have a little job for you. Can't move! I all of my broken bones! I don't mind. It won't prevent me from manipulating you. I make it hurt a little bit when I move you, though. Quite a bit, actually. Damn you! I can't believe it! You not actually pulled it off! <sighs> Sorry, Inspector Cabanella, I couldn't do anything to help you. And there I am, a poor broken heap of arms and legs. But no matter, I enjoyed the show. <laughs> the magic disappearing act, that is nothing like it, baby. <laughs> yeah, except... Unlike a normal magic trick, I'm the one that managed to manage without a trace here.
What's the matter? You look like you better be dead. Not that you aren't. I was just remembering the fact right now, right about now. The real me is giving the poor justice minister a real fight. I have real fright. On that phone call, yeah, he was pretty upset. Um, excuse me, mister. You really shouldn't be being like that. And <laughs> uh, what's this lady little creature? Oh, that, that, this little doggy is the warrior who keeps Camilla safe. Well, he would be if he was actually still full of life. Camilla. Gods in heaven, what a terrible thing! A poor little girl, taken hostage. It's a cool twist of fate indeed. Wait just a minute! Miss Camilla is a hostage? Yes, uh, we're sorry, little warrior. Uh, Miss Camilla, a hostage! What's a hostage? <laughs> of course, a dog would not know what a hostage is. <laughs> anyway, it's Peter Capanella. It's time to save your life now. But you couldn't get very far when you tried before, am I right? But this time, it's different, right, Sizzle? That's right. With us working together, it's a whole different situation. We'll save the inspector in white, and then we'll go rescue Camilla, okay? Okay, let's hurry up and get through this! Gee, kids, you're making me feel like an apple butt. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. Inspector Canel is upstairs. So our first step is to get up there. Bibble, I'll go up first and wait for you! That makes sense. Hi. Nice. Okay. Okay, lovey dove. We need your help. Carry this measuring device upstairs. It has Mr. Ghost in it, so don't drop it. Wow! That is a strong bird. I mean, are you honestly surprised? Have you seen... Um... Oh. There you are, Sizzle! Okay, now we can say what we talked about with birds. I mean, remember money? Here oh, that's giant, true. He carried like a 20, 30 pound statue up three flights. Or three floors. That, yeah, that, that's true. So, that's that little bird true. carrying something like that, I'm not... Surprise. Animals in these games are weird. Sorry for the wait, Missile. Four minutes from now, the inspector will be killed by a gun. You just dumb you just dumb and then stop him from firing, would you? <laughs> there you go again with that stuff. Besides, it doesn't make any sense. If you stop him from firing, he'll just kill you in some other way. Wait a minute, that sounds familiar. Yep, same situation as mine. Your best bet this time around is to allow him to shoot and save Cabanella without him noticing. You know, it's even worse than last time. Anywho, jump in there and do something! Uh, okay, I'm ready to jump in, Sizzle! I already have an idea. What is it? We have to we have to find something bullet shaped. <gasps> oh my god! I see a bullet shaped. <laughs> Where do we find something? Where did we find something bullet shaped? Um, how about that helmet I'm hanging up there? Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> Don't forget, whenever you want to use my powers, just have the right trigger. Hmm. Yeah, I can't really move anyway. Wait, there's more stuff over here. A knit hat. Hmm. So what? Do I just stay with missile in the helmet? For now, yeah. You kind of just have to let things continue. Not gonna get to that. Okay, so I'm kind of stuck here with Sizzle. Yeah? Now you and could that's move. Enough. Okay. Question is, what do you even do? Yeah, I'm wondering that too, because can we actually stop the bullet mid-air? Oh! Oh, he's, oh, that's you. Oh! Did you see that? That bad sizzle turned around! You have to call him that. But yeah, maybe this is our chance to try some ghost tricks. It's the only time he takes his eyes off me too. 
If you have to do something, do it now. I have to take the first steps towards saving the inspector. How would uh, we go about that, though? I have no idea. That's the kind of guy you are! I got nothing to say to you! You'd never listen anyway! Because he's already dead. He died ten years ago. I knew full well he wouldn't die if I shot him. Then why did you go to the trouble of shooting him at all? That's almost up. That's enough chit chat. Now the situation has changed slightly. He's like split seconds our chance. Uh, uh. I don't what, know. What do I do? Yeah, I honestly do not know. I was it only moves it over there. Hey, can you get up to that helmet where a missile is with uh Sissel? Nope. I wonder if Too you far. can do an action with that. Like when he turns around, if you swivel a lamp, oh, I right. you could I could have it turned there. it. Yeah, I could have turned it. So now, you may though, just have to we... s just switch, I guess. So, so just rewind. From beginning. I cannot skip these, okay. No. So basically you need to get to the lamp to do a swivel. So you just have to wait that. for the thing to be knocked down. Yeah. Wait. Do that. No, oh, you can rock it. Rock it. Uh -oh, what's going on? I didn't see the ghost one like this. So you're here, are you? He says my presence. I noticed you. You think you can stop me, do you? I don't know why you're wearing my face. But I might as well give up now. I control everything. Damn it! Everything, including the life of this police inspector and why it's. Wait, don't shoot! I think you were just too slow because you turned that thing on and took too long to rock. Yeah. I guess use my powers right in front of the auto and me was the good idea. But he basically did a break fourth wall moment by looking straight at the screen. Yeah. Especially when somebody gets shot because of it. I guess the only thing I can do is aim for that break when he looks away. I have to be sure I don't miss my chance. I guess I better rewind the clock again and see if I can pick up any of the clues. So, swivel the thing and just rock the helmet right away then. Yeah. And then Ooh. we'll see from there, I guess? I wish I could just skip this, but... Hmm. First of 
of all, let's just get some missile over here in the phone. And then we wait. And then we wait for Sissel to turn. And we brought the helmet immediately. Oh wait, he notices that. Oh, what was that? Oh, he didn't notice. He noticed the sound, but he doesn't notice what it was. Okay, but what do we do now? I don't know. That hat has the same shape as the helmet, but I don't know if that matters. I think it do. I think it does. I think we need to get it over there. The only thing we can do is wait for him to get shot and then head over there. That's a nice execution. Oh, I thought he was said something different because he heard the sound. I can have to say to you, but you never listen. Anyway. Oh, we can't I will, get I will that. respect Cabanella. I will respect Cabanella for being able to actually keep a gun hidden that long. <laughs> okay, so now I think I move this. But what does it do? I have no idea. We actually also cannot swap them. Uh. Can hmm. Missile swap it with anything? Just become Missile and do that knit hat and just see if you can't swap with anything. The book. I don't know what that's going to do, but I may as well. Oh, shit. Oh, now the desk lamp is in the... Oh, wait. And then when the desk lamp moves... Well, would you look at that? Right on the hook. I love knit hats. So warm and most of all soft. Hey, now. Hey, now that I'm looking at it. That is as the same shape as the helmet you just should knock down. Aha, I thought so. Ah, but that doesn't... Shit. Oh? He's going to shoot, it's too late! Again? I'm going to get shot again? Oh wait, our chance is coming up. The last bullet bucket, right? Give it to me! Would you look at that? The bullet is hanging midair between the gun and the inspector's forehead. That's our chance! I'm here on the bullet right now! Let's run this little thing with something else! Uh, what, what? It's our only hope. There's gotta be something in here the same shape and direction as the bullets. This is so fucking okay. stupid. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and he didn't notice? <laughs> I don't think he noticed. <laughs> Looks like you're pulled off and not a magic disappearing act. <laughs> And now let's say again, I love it, that's so warm and most of all soft. Did I, did I do it right? You did a fine job, little one. You saved another life. And I'll keep doing it too, for Miss Camilla! Over and over! Okay, so that missile's like a, uh, it's gonna save people around the world, aren't they? Super <laughs> missile. What I saw in just these four minutes uh, gave me all the answers I've been looking for. 
<laughs> All your research these past ten years pales in comparison, right, Professor? So you two are working together. That's about the size of it, yeah. Who would you believe a story about a manipulator? So we pursued it ourselves, just the two of us. I'm quite a crazy character myself, after all. Okay, let's hurry back! Back to our time! We have to rescue Miss Camilla! You're right, Missile. There's a certain guy I have to follow, too. After completing his revenge on Inspector Cabanella, the man in red left. And now a new story is about to unfold in a new present. Uh, how are you feeling, you old crazy character? Hey there, Prof. I see. Yeah, nothing like it, baby. But I don't know if I'm getting old or what, but I've got a few aches and pains here and there. Used to be a little thing like this motion wouldn't bother me. Yeah, right, like I'm going to believe that. So what, the guy in red is gone, eh? Just in case, I post a special investigation here all around the building. Let's pray the boys came through for us. Yeah, dude's gonna oh. be in pain. Yeah, he broke like four or five bones. Damn it, you picked a bad sign not to listen to me, buddy of mine. But I'm glad Cabanella's not a bad guy. <laughs> Let's talk to Cabanella. If I knew things were going to end up like this, I would have tried to die in that explosion, baby. That way I could have been dancing out of the big red by now. Hmm. I might be able to raise stairs, but it's, but it's tr true I can't do much about injuries. But really, you shouldn't talk that way. Yes, yeah, sorry, I suppose you're right. I just hate feeling so feeling so helpless. It was right there within my grasp, and our plans were resting on tonight. And then this is had to happen. I guess he's thinking about the spotless record. It's not too late, Inspector. We still have a chance. Maybe I can catch him. Say, you're right, that's not a bad idea. I'll cooperate with you fully. Go ahead and fire away with any questions you like, Mr. Ghost. I like Cabanella. Yeah, at least he's not a bad I guy. Like, I'm so glad Cabanella is not a bad guy. There was a lot of things where they made you think he was a bad guy, and I think that was actually really well done. But once the whole manipulator thing was talked, and I noticed all the little hints in his movements, it was like, yeah, uh, I'm pretty confident that Cabanella was not a bad guy when, when he did the phone call. That guy mentioned revenge. Revenge against the people who stole his life away ten years ago. Ugh, he's a fool. He is the one who made the decision to take that little girl hostage, and he will wound up dead. He only has himself to blame. But what about when he said this? I was murdered by all of you! Detective Joe who forced me into a corner, Lynn, the girl who was playing in the park, and finally you, Inspector Cabanella. If you hadn't done what you did, I never would have pointed a gun at that kid. What did he do? I guess we'll find out. Yes, ten years ago on that day, the Special Investigation Unit was working on a certain big case. He hauled in a young man, an important witness to our investigation. And then I did it. I made two very big stupid mistakes. Detective, I, I'm telling you, I don't know anything about it! I'm fine, you're under no obligation to talk, of course. But if you don't, the special investigation you can make the rest of your life a living hell. But but I I just been assigned to the special investigation unit, you see. I didn't share much info on big cases like a new with a newbie like me yet. I wanted to impress them. It was I was only supposed to be a simple matter of taking a statement. But I was too green. I pushed him too hard. I drove me into a corner and made him lose all hope. You made him panic. Yep. That was my first mistake. And then I made another mistake on top of that. Cabanella, got a minute? The chief wants to see you about your report. Got it. I'll be right there. 
You stay right here and be a good boy now. No, well, it's good to know he had his moves ten years ago. And that's when I did it. I left it behind in the integration room. My gun. You left your gun in the interrogation room? The fuck? Oh my god, Kevin, I knew you were green, but that is very, very green. That goes beyond green. I don't know what color that would be, but... Yeah. How could you? I used my gun to escape. What you said is true. If I hadn't made that mistake, you never would have had a gun to point at Lynn in the first place. Oh shit. We first found out about the Minilipa's existence during a certain overseas communication. Overseas communication? For national security purposes. This country keeps tabs on the communications networks. Sounds pretty normal. Yeah. This, this particular communication was about making a deal with a certain foreign country. He said he wanted them to buy him. And his him and his power. Oh shit! The other country wants to weaponize ghosts? <laughs> That's how we first heard about him. Of course, we didn't know what he looked like at the time. In order to prove these powers of his, he gave them two predictions he foresaw two completely preposterous and possible cases. The case of a man who would sing a national secret during a live rock concert broadcast. And the case of a man who would take a chief commissioner hostage in his own office. Hmm, those two inmates at the special prison, eh? We kept tabs on their communications and launched an investigation. And then finally, we pinpointed where they were going to meet tonight, and sticked it out. A res that restaurant, the kitchen chick- uh, chicken kitchen. Such a weird name. Yeah. They manipulated plans on leaving this country tonight, on a submarine that belongs to the other country in this deal. It's a submarine? But well, we haven't been able to find out where it's going to surface. It's terrifying to think what would happen if his powers were to fall into their hands. Right, highly unlikely they'd use them for peaceful purposes. And now they have that little girl as a hostage. Amola. We have to stop him before he leaves the country. This is very fascinating. This is so strange. I, I really like the setup they have here with the countries because it looks very European inspired with the fine clothing for the leaders. Damn Europe. So I'm wondering it, So I'm wondering if these two fictional countries like in a like a Cold War scenario. Can we have a name? We need country names here. Well, this is obviously fictional. I have a feeling these two countries are very much fictional. Well, duh. <laughs> but we still should have country names. They keep calling them a certain country. Or this country. Yeah. Or that country. It's a country. Yes, we get that. But I love the decide that one country is blue people. <laughs> okay, their country will be the blue Brits. <laughs> I don't know what to call this other country we're in now, but the blue Brits are coming for us. They're these highly are militarized. The, um... British people. <laughs> this spotted record of yours, is it really that important to you? Of course, baby. In some ways, it's more important to me than, than my life. Than your life, eh? After all, it's because of my record that I'm able to get my hands on all the intel instead of the special investigation unit. And because of my position, I get to direct all aspects of this investigation into the mini Plato case. The manipulator case? That's why you cared about your record so much? Of course, why else, baby? I just never could believe it, man. Do you know, shooting Alma? I didn't care about it that he confessed. There was definitely something more to the story, some secret. I did everything I could to climb the ladder, everything in my power, to save your friend. Wow. Yeah. That's actually a very interesting take on Capanella's ambition there. It definitely is. It makes sense, though. Yeah, he did everything, all of this just so he could try and help Jode? That's actually pretty cool. And I finally found the answer. It took five long years, though. It may play him. He's going to prove that Jode is innocent. What incredible determination. I guess uh, Capanella is an uh, Undertale um, protagonist now. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, his determination. <laughs> you feel determined. <laughs> That's one thing I just don't understand. If you were so determined to help Detective Jode, 
Why didn't you help him escape from prison? That's an easy one, baby. Escape from prison is a crime. I mean, yeah, that's a good point. I was about... Yeah, he does have a good point. I was about to help him commit a crime after spending five years trying to prove him innocent. And he himself asked to be executed, you know. As a matter of the law, I had to make sure that ex the execution was stopped legally. And that's why I brought him before the Justice Minister, too. I need to buy as much time as possible as I possibly could, baby. So that's it, eh? Yeah, so I like how Nils was a good guy all along. That's so good. <laughs> because ever since his first introduction, I was like, I love this guy. <laughs> yeah, and the good characters always seem to be evil. Yeah. <laughs> There's one little unfortunate result of all this. Lin completely misunderstood your intentions. <laughs> What's a little misunderstanding? My baby will come around. Give it time. But we have more important things to do with our time tonight. Does the professor have anything? Mrs. Superintendent. He's a superintendent. Okay. Do you mind if I talk to you for a minute? I haven't always been a young yet superintendent, you know. I used to be part of the police. The police, huh? Not as a detective, but as a medical examiner. I basically victim's cause of death. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Ten years ago, I asked to autopsy a strange body. Hit by a meteorite fragment and died instantly. That's what the police report said. There were no signs of life. He was definitely dead. But I never filed an autopsy report. That was, that's because the body suddenly vanished. Leaving behind only one clue. An unusual corpse. But that's what I've been chasing all night. Would you tell me more? Yeah, sure. I have an interest in you recalling your memory and finding your true identity, too. That's the only way I can describe it, too. It was an unusual corpse. He was dead all right, no question about that. But it was the scratch on him. Not a scratch? But I thought he was hit by a meteorite fragment. I don't understand it any more than you do. So it literally did not cause any damage to the body. Well, it did, and it just healed itself because of the fragment. That's true. So it could just be a self-healing corpse. I was completely bewildered, but when I tried an autopsy, I tried to autopsy him, I was even more puzzled. I couldn't perform the autopsy. You're right. His body is probably completely impervious. You couldn't. What do you mean? The scalpel went in, but I couldn't cut. As soon as I tried to make an incision, it would heal up in the very next instant. Okay, so he the body can be damaged. He's not invulnerable, yeah. but it heals instantly. So he literally became somewhat immortal because of it. He is immortal. He's a ghost inhabiting an immortal and that's how it body. Went. Yeah, a ghost with an immortal body. That's actually pretty scary. And no skying of blood either. I never had the chance to solve the mystery. That's because the corpse up and vanished on us. The morgue is well guarded. Nobody could have stolen that body. But there's one way the corpse could have escaped, could have disappeared. What's that? Just walks out. Yep, yeah, just, just walks out. Just, just walked out. It got up and opened the door and walked out on its own. Because what would the guards think? They wouldn't know it was the corpse. I mean, even if they did, they'd be like, oh, whatever. Because a corpse can't move. Yeah. What? He was dead, but he wasn't dead. We saw it with our own eyes tonight. Not even that explosion could kill him. And he didn't even feel it when he slammed his fist on that stove. Well, duh. He heals quickly and feels no pain. Can't really be damaged because he has no blood or anything. Yeah. The corpse left behind some data from testing. From te some testing I did. He got some readings for some kind of radiation coming off that body. Probably um. The meteor. Ectoplasm. <laughs> no, no. We're in Danny Phantom territory now. <laughs> radiation. I, I used all kinds of instruments, but I couldn't determine exactly what kind of radiation it was. Some undiscovered type from a world unknown. 
the of ghost the realm of the dead. Yeah, <laughs> for ghosts and stuff. Wait a minute, could it be? That's right, he was coming for that meteorite fragment. That's why we also saw it with the... Uh, we missile died next to it. I went to that park and tested the spot where the meteorite fell. And just as I expected, I detected radiation coming from that crater. It was the exact same pattern of radiation as that of the corpse. And at the time, I thought he was some kind of immortal being. He would die only to come back to life. I want to research it all in depth, so I quit my job as a police medical examiner. Several years later, I came to learn the connection between my research and the manipulator case. Thanks to the arrival of this crazy character here. Oh, stop now, Professor. Do you want to see me blush? We have a lot of lore dumps in this one. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. It was about a year ago, I'd say. This man in white came dancing into my research lab here. Oh, yeah. I heard it was an oddball here who was really intensive. Is that you, Benny? I swear they made that dance animation be like, how can we include this at every possible moment? Oh, yeah. Who are you to be calling anybody an oddball? I was, I was investigating the manipulator case then. And then I heard there was a man who quit the police force and started the meteorite. When I heard that, it was like a meteorite had struck me on the head. At the time, we were just starting to get leads on this manipulator. We didn't know who he was yet, but we knew he was communicating with a certain foreign country. Blue Brits. One of those, in one of those communications, we heard the manipulator say this. The source of my power is not of this world. And that's when I put two and two together, baby. The manipulator case and Tensig were somehow connected. Which also explained how five years ago he used his powers to maybe like a birthday surprise, a little girl made for her mother. He had a gun to the contraption, most likely by controlling Camilla. So that contraption in the basement here, you both have to try and help the Tid of Jodes? That's right, oh, they made a replica. Yeah. Just trying to figure out what how it worked. That makes sense, actually. That's right. Jode and I worked together back when I was with the Force. We used to report this case to try and recreate the device. There was just one part of it that I couldn't reproduce no matter how hard I tried. Camilla told Jode it did something it shouldn't have. Made an impossible move. I had that part to the device I recreated. I put in a part that would allow Cupid to rotate, otherwise the gun wouldn't fire. So that must mean something manipulated Camilla's contraption. As a result, we proved to ourselves that the manipulator actually existed. Lynn! Inspector Cabanella! Hey, baby. Sorry about that phone call. I must have sounded like a real villain. I hate to spoil your image of me. Of that cool cat inspector you always looked up to. Is that really the image she had of him? Uh, maybe? Inspector Cabanella, sorry, just heard you were chasing after the man all this time to try and help Detective Jowd. Uh, this manipulator is such a dangerous character. I was hoping you didn't have to be involved. Well, that's why you had me arrested tonight, isn't it? <laughs> like I always say, if somebody's in the way, throw him in the slammer. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> tonight... I really thought we finally had him. My body gave out on me right at the critical moment. It's like a cruel joke. <laughs> but a joke is a joke. You might as well laugh. Jode! The minister called off the execution order. And while he was at it, he let Detective Jode go free until the morning. What? Okay. Can he do that? 
Uh, he is the justice minister. I guess it is within his purview, isn't it? You, criminal who is suspected to have killed somebody, you're free for only the night. I expect you in your cell tomorrow morning. Okay. <laughs> That's a pretty extreme while he was at it. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Sorry, it took so long to get here. You can leave the rest to me. And there you go again. You have always been like that. You make everybody else run around and then you swoop in at the last second. Joe, Joe. Five years ago, you left this cope with me just before you turned yourself in. I promise to give it back to you one day. That bird, really, wow. Go, birdie! <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting so long, Detective Jode. Waiting for this day to come. Thanks for not giving up on me, Lynn. Okay, I am off then. Good luck, you my old friend. I think he's more suspicious now than he was in his last outfit. Oh yeah. This present you gave me. It's just what I needed. Thank you. Glad you like it. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. You and I have to go find that man. I need your help. Will you do this with me? Sure, but how? We don't know where the submarine is and the phone line doesn't work. They use communication cables to make their calls. We'll get you hooked up somehow. You'll see. Do you wait here until we do, please? Okay, fine. I'm counting on you. This true self you're looking for. I bet you'll find it soon. All right, I'm leaving. Inspector Capanella? It's almost dawn. I'm not who I thought I was. Mighty further from knowing who I am than ever. Now I don't feel so alone. Each one of us, for his or her own reasons, is looking for the truth. Together, I think we can shed light on these mysteries and drive away the darkness. But it's almost dawn. Miss Camilla! I think Missile's the only <laughs> one that doesn't isn't looking for who they are. <laughs> They're looking for Miss Camilla. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, that, that was a good long episode, actually. They're all going to be like this, aren't they? <laughs> we are really reaching the climax of the game now. Yeah. Well, we'll see you next episode then. Indeed. Bye-bye.